Hi everyone, it's Susan Winter. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are my wonderful subscribers, welcome back. I adore you. Your support and your kind words mean everything to me. And if you're new, please listen. I hope you like what you hear and I hope that it helps you. I'm continuing today with questions and answers and I'm going to teach you something today that it's a little against my principles, but it's a little game. I'm not for game, but there are times that we have to use game to extract ourselves from a horrific situation in a hurry. It's a band-aid repair. Let me tell you what it is. It's how to fall out of love with someone when you absolutely have to and need to for your own survival. Okay. So this message is from Amber and Amber writes, Hi Susan, my question is how do you fall out of love with your ex who did nothing wrong but the relationship didn't work out? My ex was my best friend and lover, our relationship fell apart and he quickly fell out of love with me. But for me, it's taking a really long time. It's been 10 months since a breakup and I still love him dearly. Thank you. Okay, first of all, I'm going to answer Amber and then I'm going to tell you the trick to falling out of love with somebody. Amber, it sounds like this was a honeymoon breakup because falling out of love doesn't happen that way. You're not in love, in love, in love, and then one day the person just doesn't love you. It does not happen like that. It is a slow erosion of love that happens through resentments and arguments that never get fixed, things like that. That's what happens. And then if there's someone new that comes into the picture, they come into the picture because there's an opening for them because of discontent. But love, real love, isn't there and then suddenly it's gone. So what you had was a lot of attraction and closeness and you are assuming that that's love, but this is more infatuation. So you need to frame it properly or you will never free yourself. We cannot over dramatize what we have if that narrative locks us in a cage. Now, the trick that I was never going to tell you and what I should tell you and what I tell people that are working with me in a last ditch effort, it's a little gamey. I don't like to do it, but if you have to do it to survive, you have to do it. As a quick fix, the way to fall out of love with somebody is to sit down with yourself and think about every negative trait that they have. Every negative, unattractive, undesirable trait, anything that they did that was less than perfect, the little crooked toe that they have, the dirt under their fingers that you saw one day, uh, the crusty ear stuff that you saw, the smelly feet, the something, the something, the way they wind, the way, anything. And if normally this doesn't work as easily if it's a new relationship, because then you're still in the bubble. You don't see what you don't want to see. The person is still perfect in your eyes. And this is where you really have to hunt. If you can't find an entire list of things that are undesirable and you dwell on that list, you dig into it, you massage it, you let it grow, you really look at everything about them, at least look at their disposition. If they loved you and left you, is that someone you can admire? Did they handle you perfectly? You know, in your case, Amber, my best friend and my lover, my everything, the perfect man. If they were perfect just by you saying that, you're stuck. Because if you think you've lost the perfect person, there's just no recourse for you. You have nailed yourself in the coffin and I don't want that to happen. So we have to remember that we're looking at somebody from the full spectrum of who they are. Every individual has their positive and they have their negative. If you're in a relationship long enough, it's a little bit easier to get over that fantasy about your partner because you've been with them long enough that you have seen them when they're selfish insensitive, unattractive, in a bad mood. So you realize that they're not perfect. But in the initial flourish of love and attraction, you think they are. So that's why I know 
so many people never give credence to short-term relationships and how powerful it can be when you break up, but it's because you've never seen the other side of them, that you think you're losing something so magical. So the way you have to do it is take a sheet of paper, take time, write down everything, and you focus on it. And you memorize that in your mind. And if you don't have enough of the memories and the uh, little camera shots in your mind that you remember those snapshots, then you have to dig into their personality and their disposition. Are they a little lazy? Do they con people? Are they a little untruthful? Are they a lot untruthful? Are they manipulative? Are they cruel in their ambition to get what they want? Those things you have to look at and build and build. Now, is it the highest spiritual practice? No. Is it the best and most evolved way to go? No. It is a short-term, stop the bleeding out temporary method to just get you stabilized. That's it. But whenever we look at a person and we put them in a category when they are irreplaceable, and if they leave, we have done that to ourselves. Yes, they were special. And yes, they dance that dance with us, and we can honor that. But nobody is perfect. Nobody is the one and only. It is that person. So we have to be very careful of the language we use. And I know this seems rudimentary, but it is your mind that will set your heart free if it's locked in a cage of loving somebody who doesn't love you back. So that's the trick to falling out of love with somebody, to making yourself not love somebody whose love has left you. I hope that helps. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. If you want to work with me, please go to my website, look at the coaching packages that I have, and I have a la carte. If you want to design a relationship of your own liking, I'm on uh, Clubhouse at 7 o'clock on Mondays Eastern Time, and I have a show there. I'm also on Spotify and iHeartRadio under the Susan Winter Show. So, I, And if you have not signed up for this, please subscribe and click the notification button so you know when I'm doing something. Check out my live shows every Thursday at, what time is it? 2 p.m. Eastern. And thank you for being a great audience. Thank you. Bye-bye now.